What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, Olympic silver medalist, two division world champion, undefeated former unified super featherweight world champion, superstar boxer Shakur Stevenson, who is now 20 wins, no losses, no draw, 10 wins by way of knockout. He is uh, 25 years of age, five foot eight with a 68 inch arm age. We know recently Shakur Stevenson, he came out and he stated that the highly anticipated lightweight undisputed showdown between undefeated, undisputed lightweight world champion, superstar Bassa, Devin the Dream Haney, who is now uh, 30 wins, no losses, no draws. Uh, he has 15 wins by way of knockout. He is uh, 24 years of age, five foot nine with a 70 inch arm age. That being Devin the Dream Haney took on Olympic two-time gold medalist, three-division world champion, former unified lightweight world champion, Ukrainian superstar boxer, Vasily Hitek Lomachenko, who is now 17 wins, three losses, no draws, 11 wins by way of knockout, 35 years of age, five foot six with a 66 inch arm each. Devin Haney won a unanimous decision victory to which Shakur Stevenson, he stated that uh, he felt Lomachenko won the fight eight rounds to four. Right, but Devin Haney won 116, 112, 115, 113 on all three judges' scorecards. So Shakur Stevenson is saying that he thought Devin Haney lost the fight and Lomachenko clearly won eight rounds to four, and Shakur Stevenson is calling it a robbery. And um, when you rewatch the fight, you can see that's anything but the case. There's no way Lomachenko won eight rounds in this fight, but nonetheless. Shakur Stevenson being the southpaw, Shakur Stevenson is now stating that uh, he's going to contact legendary promoter, top rank CEO Bob Arum of ESPN on ESPN to try to secure a fight with Vasil Lomachenko next to prove that he's better than uh, Devin Haney. So he wants to show that there's levels. So he stated that he wants to fight Vasil Lomachenko next because the the momentum is that and the, the the perception is that Lomachenko won this fight right you have entertainers uh you have colorful boxing an, uh, analysts you have colorful analysts overall like Stephen A. Smith and Nelly and I can't say it enough Boosie talking about Devin Haney lost every single round Nelly talking about he ain't gonna watch boxing no more because of the way uh the fight was uh scored at the end and so the narrative is that Lomachenko won this fight hands down. And so Shakur Stevenson sees the opportunity that if he could fight and beat Lomachenko, that would uh, show that he's better than Devin Haney. That's the best thing aside from actually fighting Devin Haney and beating Devin Haney. He feels like he wants to fight Lomachenko next to prove that he's better than Devin Haney so they could be a measuring stick. Right, so there can be a, a barometer, something to uh, judge them based off of a common opponent for each other. And so Shakur Stevenson is saying that he wants to fight Lomachenko next. Now, they all with top rank, and there's reports that Devin Haney could possibly be re-signing with top rank. Um, but when you rewatch the fight, clearly you can see that Devin Haney won this fight. It's not that hard. It's it was a good fight. It was entertaining. But when you rewatch the fight and you turn off the commentating where it's, it's being slanted and it's obviously uh, uh, um, in favor of Vasil Lomachenko, you turn it off and you watch the fight, you can clearly see that Devin Haney won the first six rounds, right? Which means that all he had to do was win one more round out of six rounds. And that makes the fight 7-5 in favor of Devin Haney. He didn't even have to win the next six rounds. All he had to do was win one of the next six rounds, and that makes it seven five in favor of Devin Haney. When you go back and rewatch the fight, the first six rounds, you can see that Devin Haney's not getting credit for the body work. He's not getting credit for, you know, um, uh, uh, his his ring savviness, his uh, ability to close the, uh, um, to judge the distance, his jab. Uh, you know how he was making Lomachenko miss again. I can't say this enough again as well. Lomachenko landed 40, a career 47% on his opponents in his punch stats, right? And Devin Haney cut that in half. He landed 27%. So that means that Devin Haney was making a miss. Lomachenko had uh, the 10th and 11th round where there was uh, big rounds. 
that he came on extremely strong, but he was fighting his spurts. Uh, he wasn't dominating any of the rounds except for 10 and 11. Those rounds, he, he had big rounds. But even when you watch the 10th round, again, you can see that Devin Hayden, even that round, he made Lomachenko miss a lot of those punches that was getting, that Lomachenko was getting credit for. So when you're rewatching, you actually see what, was, what took place. You can clearly see that Devin Haney won. But there's so much disdain for Devin Haney that, you know, uh, people want to see Lomachenko win. They want to see Devin Haney lose. So if you want to see Devin Haney lose, you will see him lose, right? Because not, regardless of what he's doing, you're not going to give him credit for. And the fact that he's going to the body and that's not, uh, uh, you know, uh, glamorous as going to the head. When you stop a fighter to the body, hence the reason when Devin, uh, Javante Tank Davis stopped Ryan Garcia to the body, immediately everybody said he quit because they don't understand what took place. The narrative immediately was that Ryan Garcia quit because they don't understand. But if that was the same punch to the chin that Ryan Garcia went down on, everybody be jumping up in joy and telling you how uh, much of Javante Tank Davis is a brutalizing puncher because they don't understand. Most people don't understand the sport of boxing. It's shocking that boxers are saying this, but casual boxing fans and entertainers and they don't understand what's going on. They're not, they're not, they don't follow the sport relig religiously uh, day in and day out. They don't know about training. They don't watch sparring and training camps. They know nothing about it. All they know is what they see fight night. And so if you want to see Devin Haney lose, you're going to see him lose. Going to the body is not glamorous. It's not going to ooh and ah you. It's effective to his opponent, but it's not, it's not glamorous. It's not going to ooh and ah anybody. So Shakur Stevenson is saying that he's campaigning to fight uh, Lomachenko next to prove a point. But there's talks that Lomachenko could possibly retire. So we got to see how this unfolds and plays out. But uh, I have no doubt that Shakur Stevenson would dominate Vasil Lomachenko and outclass him as well. Styles make fights. And it's going to look even better because he has slightly better defense than Devin Haney does. And he stays in the pocket. So let's see how it unfolds and plays out moving forward. But that's all I got for y'all, man. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. And another thing is going to look different because Shakur Stevenson is a southpaw and Lomachenko is a southpaw. Devin Haney is an orthodox fighter and Lomachenko is a southpaw. So it's going to look different. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV, man. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. It's your boy, Blue, signing off. I'm gone. Peace.